Hi guys, thank you so much for coming to visit my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on glowy skin. Uh, nowadays I've been really into letting my natural skin show through and kind of bronze it out and make it nice and dewy and glowy without being oily. So I wanna share my routine with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. I'm starting out with my Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream. This face cream is so wonderful. It preps your skin for your foundation. And honestly, prepping your skin is gonna be the most important part to achieving glowy skin. I'm also going in with Mary Kay Indulge Soothing Eye Gel. This has been one of my favorites as well. Now I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever HD foundation and blend it in with my Inglot Face and Body Illuminator. And we're just gonna buff this out. I'm using a brush by Cover FX. It's actually supposed to be for cream, but I like to use it for my liquids. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Prep and Prime in Peach Luster. This is their color corrector. So it's gonna eliminate any shadowy areas underneath my eyes. And now for the concealer, this is one of my go-tos. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this concealer. I left it for a while and then I came back, um, but this is the shade Macadamia and I absolutely love how it melts into the skin. So I did wanna use a little bit of Fix Plus by MAC uh, just to melt down the product a little bit. Remember, we are trying to achieve a very a bronzy, dewy skin, but also very see-through. So you wanna make sure that foundation and concealer looks as natural as possible. So I am going in with Cover Effects. They have a click stick in the shade N110, and I'm using that to contour. I'm also going in with Cover Effects Illuminating Spray. This has been one of my favorites lately. I love the way that it makes my skin look very nice and glowy and dewy and fresh. It's amazing. I'm taking a little bit uh, more of that NARS concealer and we're just gonna tap it right on the upper cheekbone just to give us a nice dewy finish. So now I'm gonna go in and just define the brow. I'm gonna use Pro Long Wear NW25 by MAC Cosmetics. And now that I got my brows microbladed, thank God, <laughs> I don't have to do too much to my brows, but I do use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit just to go in and add a little bit more depth and definition to the brow. So using the same concealer, I'm gonna go in and just kind of apply this all over the eyelid just to give me a smoother base and application for when I apply my eyeshadows. I'm gonna set this concealer with the RCMA Original Powder. This is the one that is colorless. Um, but I like this one because it does uh, set everything very nicely and it does not budge. I'm also using this powder to set my concealer underneath my eyes as well. For this tutorial, I wanted to keep it more focused on skin, so we are not gonna do a lot with eyes. I'm gonna take the eyeshadow in the shade Texture, and we're just gonna buff that right into the crease and a little into the lower lid of the eye. I'm also gonna take the shade in 368 by Inglot, and we're just gonna buff that right underneath the eyebrow onto the brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX setting powder. This is their matte setting powder in the shade medium. Love this powder. So smooth. And we're back. Now we're going to take a little bit of the shade Cinnamon by Anastasia Beverly Hills and we're going to shade it underneath the eyes um, towards the lash line and in the crease. I'm also going to take a little bit of Lay and Low Paint Pot by MAC Cosmetics and just kind of shade that right over the eyelid. And then we're going to take the same shade that we used, the 368 by Inglot, and we're just going to buff that right on top of our paint pot. And now we're going to do just a little bit of soft contouring. I'm going to use the shade Nutmeg by ABH, and we're just going to buff that right on the hollows of the cheek. Oh, Mason wants to say hi. Hi, Mace. <laughs> this has been one of my favorites lately. This is the What's Up by Benefit. This is their highlighter cream and it's amazing. So I've been really into Becca bronzers lately. So I'm gonna take their Sunlit Bronzer in the shade 
Empanema. Yeah, don't get me to lying. Um, but I'll list it at the bottom for you guys so you know which one I'm talking about. Um, but I love this bronzer. I think this is their uh, darker shade or either second to darkest shade. Um, next, we're gonna take the Champagne Pop by Becca, the infamous. And we're gonna just apply that right on the upper cheekbone just to give us a nice, soft glow. I also am taking a little bit of MAC blush. Um, I forgot the name of it, but I will, I'll list it at the bottom for you guys. But it's a nice, rosy blush. Next, we're gonna apply some lashes. These are Wispy Lashes. And sorry guys, I buy these in bulk from a distributor, so I don't have a name brand for them. Um, but I'll see if I can find a link for you guys and I'll list it at the bottom. So next I'm gonna go in with my Brow Food Clear Brow Gel. Love this stuff, it keeps my brows super in place. So next getting into lips, we're gonna line our lips with just a neutral lip liner. And then I want my lips to pop a little bit. So I'm going in with the shade Cruel by Lip Beautifully. Absolutely love this shade. You can wear it in the daytime, you can wear it at nighttime. It just works and it's so beautiful. Just a rich red, but it feels great on the lips. So here's our final look. Just very nice bronzy dewy lashes and a bold lip. What more can a girl ask for? <laughs> so Lip Beautifully also has a company called Mix, Melt and Repeat and they actually do customized lipsticks for everyday women. So I love that idea. Contacted the owner, Aaliyah Ray Dorsey and guess what guys? Ah! <laughs> we are collaborating and coming out with two not one, but two different lipsticks for the fall season. I am super, super, super excited. And you guys are gonna love these colors because they're my favorite. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned.